What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. Be honest, though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them. They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there! All right, all right. Come on! Scat! Shh. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't... Well, you know I can't read. 
Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Well, uh, you know. A little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. Changed my mind. I'm coming with you. Well, come on, man. Let's get going. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while well, you were off cavorting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, did she marry this Bonnie McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, First thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marston. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life anyway? Found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Those folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on him now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but... Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe, but they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John, and they hated you for it. Where did they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very funny. No, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife. Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, 
In my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered.
done. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. What? I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Stay close to the dog, son. Let's go. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. Easy. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Elk don't stand still, son. I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. Come on. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Jack, he's on to something. Until the next time, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> 
There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. Whoa. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves, and she'd hurt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. Look, I see one. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Come on! I'll show you how to cut the meat. Hey, come on! I thought it was gonna get away! That was great, bro! Huh? You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush it. Woo! That's a big one! This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Alright, let's see if we can find some more. Why are you stopping? Come on! Go on, Rufus! You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Pop! Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch at I know, at. I know. I saw how you did it. You say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Good boy! After him, boy. Yeah. Find another one, Rufus. What you got for us, Rufus? You can do it, Rufus. Let's go. Look, they're over there. That's it, son. I see him! Come on! Steady now. There Go! Whoa! Get after him! There he is! Don't rush him! Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post in Manzanita. Let's go! Did you see me? You did good, son. Can we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? Yeah. Here 
Here we are. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Hello there, Mr. Marcin, sir. Come on in. Next year, the trains will be running even faster. Nice. Hello, sir. Well, let's see what you got. Now you're all set. I tell you, I got quite the pair of blisters yesterday. Thank you. That's all of it, sir. Best be going. Okay, then. Bye. All done. Let's head home. Like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. Tense enough. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. All right, let's go. Stay on Rufus now. You know that. Why you gotta treat me like a kid? It's what fathers do. I'm just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I, I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but it seems they can't. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. Come on. What was your father like? Look, 
He's on to something. Come on! We can't stop now! Don't fall behind! Yo! Tom? Is Uncle really your uncle? No! At least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father, though. Well, why do you call him Uncle, then? Folks always did. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. He was old when I was a kid. He was old when I was a kid, son. God must have had some purpose for keeping him on this earth. But I sure as hell don't know what that is. Where are they, Rufus? Whoa! Let's go! Get after him, boy! Look, son! He sniffed him out! You're gonna land us both in the dirt! Let's go!
Ben! You're turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. 